What is cranking, fellow fishermen? Welcome back to another episode of the Guggen Lab. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to fish a wacky worm. Okay, so the wacky worm may seem like a very simple way to catch fish, and it is one of the best gateway baits and lures and styles of fishing to get into bass fishing, but there's a lot of different things that you can key in on and use to make this an even more effective lure than it already is. Um, it is springtime here in Texas, so a lot of these fish are gonna be a little bit difficult to catch. I know the spawn can be easy because these fish are betting, they're more territorial than they normally are, but uh, there is that before and in between time where they haven't really locked down on their spawning zones. And one of my favorite, absolute favorite rigs to throw is just a little weightless five inch stick bait. This one in particular is the Lunker Log and a little June bug color. When I'm fishing stained water, I like darker colors. When I'm fishing clear water, cleaner water, I like more natural colors like green pumpkin and baby bass. And if I'm not getting bit in a certain color, I'll generally switch up. So we're gonna start off with this little June bug color and we're gonna kinda go around these docks, these little cuts, these little indents in the bank. Um, these fish have deep water right behind us and then in here they've got this shallow water. And that's really where the wacky worm comes into play is when you're fishing anywhere between like a foot to 10 foot. Anything deeper than that, it can be a little more difficult to fish, but it's still effective. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my setup, which by the way is a seven foot, medium heavy Guggen Gold Finesse series. A couple things I'm gonna look for are obvious zones, obvious casting points. When you're throwing a wacky worm, you're not gonna cover water fast. You're looking for detailed areas you're gonna put that worm in. So, just off the bat, a few things that I see. I've got some dock posts in the water. I've got some corners on this dock, this big floating dock. To my left, I've got a little bit of brush, some uh, standing timber right there. And on my graph, I can actually see some trees out there in the middle. So I'm gonna specifically pinpoint my cast. I'm not just gonna kind of blindly cast. Every cast that I make is gonna have a general purpose. Um, it's not like a crankbait or something like a jerkbait where I can kind of just make a bunch of casts within a short period of time. This is something that you really have to take time to work slowly. After I cast, I let that worm kind of sink for a bit, let it kind of get down there, not necessarily all the way on the bottom, but where I probably think it's halfway between the bottom and the surface, and I'll just kind of slowly twitch it. With the whack room, you really have to envision that bait just slowly twitching in front of a fish's face, so the slower the better, really, especially if you're fishing dirtier water. Just kind of twitch it up and down. Don't let it sit in there for too long. This is kind of a cleaner spot in the lake, so I, if I do think there's a fish in the area, I think he'll probably see it from a good distance and capitalize. But just gonna make a few casts this dock and then keep going down. There's one. There we go. First hookup of the day. Nothing huge. In my opinion, this is one of the only downsides of throwing the stick bait is if you are looking for big fish, you're gonna have to weave through these guys, which is not a bad thing. You know, we don't judge out here on the water. We'll catch bigs and smalls all day. But perfect example, that was the first thing I saw when I pulled in here. Even before I made a cast, I looked at that brush and I'm like, that looks like it could have a fish on it. Sure enough, first few twitches, this guy came up and crushed it. Nice little 12 incher. Thank you, little dude. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this episode of Guggen Lab. We appreciate the view. If you guys want to check out some more of our videos breaking down bass fishing tips and techniques, be sure to check out the rest of our content on the channel. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.